Hey, you want to talk about a quarterback who's getting roughed up in the media? Uh, is it in his pants where he's getting roughed up or where? Well, I don't know if he's getting roughed up in his pants, but I know um, he's ruffled some feathers, you know. Well, he likes to be tugged. Oh, <laughs> and when he comes, he comes. Yeah. He keeps right. it coming. <laughs> So the NFL wants to suspend Deshaun Watson for his alleged actions with um, t- with uh, over 20 uh, massage therapists. Uh, we've talked about this topic a little bit here. I've avoided a lot, it a lot because I, what do you want me to say? You want me to address allegations? I, I think the, tr- the number of allegations speaks to something. I don't know what it speaks to. I think the I think the uh, defense says that some stuff definitely happened, and he's admitting that some stuff happened. I think the NDA speak to a cover up of some sorts, but I also think it speaks to some complicity with the Houston Texans who were who were trying to cover their asset. So when you say the NFL wants to suspend him. I struggle with that because I go, well, you don't want to suspend the Texans. They're going to get fined. And they mm. possibly could lose picks. But because the first thing I thought of, not only were they Take supplying, the but not only were they supplying the location and stuff, bro, they were NDAs. Yeah. Dog. They're getting it fined. They're, oh, getting like, fined. They're about to get hit. My thing is, if you don't know, that's one thing. No, but, man, we were fucking a part of it. They were in Yeah, Asia. you're complicit. Yeah. You're complicit. Like Rico. Rico you're almost just guilty. All right, at this point. So, but <laughs> anyway, it came out today that the, that the NFL, the league-wide, wants to see him suspended. And here's what I'll tell you. The owners themselves, I don't think they're in a rush to see him suspended because of moral reasons. I think they want to see him suspended because they want that contract to get voided because – they don't want to have to pay anybody else a fully guaranteed contract that big because Russell's asking for two fifty fully guaranteed. Um, but also, well, because he looks at it and he says, "Well, we see how long quarterbacks are playing." He's like, "I just had my first losing season after ten years of winning. I have a Super Bowl. I bet yeah. it to you." Exactly. He doesn't have an MVP. I mean, I know I don't have one, but he don't have one either. So he's like, "So what are we really?" He this nigga is doing this, bro. He's coming up to you. He's like, "So what are we really talking about?" Now, like, exactly. So that that that's why I think that they won't have y'all once y'all didn't have a good quarterback. Why you came and got me? So I don't know why y'all wouldn't want to. You just gave up a lot to get me, anyways. So he's got all of the bargaining power. And exactly. He all the right things. He cheers for the Avalanche. Uh, Stanley Stanley Cup because he's an Avalanche fan. Yeah, I know. He is an Avalanche fan. So is Sierra, man. Come on, they love go Avs. Sierra probably has that that same emblem on your on on your hat tattooed somewhere, like on the bottom of her foot somewhere. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. But 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 the point is, the point the point is, they want to see Deshaun suspended either for the competitive advantage, or because they're pissed off at the half them for fully guaranteeing that contract at that level, because they don't want to have to pay other quarterbacks that because billionaires like to stay rich and they don't like to give out their money, um, so. That's why I think Deshaun is doomed because the league is going to conspire against him. Robert Kraft will make sure that he gets suspended when Robert Kraft, <laughs> I mean, he's a rub and tug guy too. But you know, but here's the issue with it. And I know that that's like a lot of things. Like I know they said like the players association tries to bring that up. There's two totally different situations. Yeah. I mean, Robert Kraft like, got he, caught. He was a part of a sting. Yeah. yeah they, they were just doing a sting on the building. He just so happened to fucking be there. Well, right. he's probably the reason why they did this thing on the building because they're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell is he doing here? Right. What is Robert Kraft doing at this in this like rant? This billionaire is going into this random part of Florida. Hey, so listen to this. One of my partners told me uh, a guy we know pulled up on him in Cartersville in a Rolls Royce. And I go, why are you driving a Rolls Royce in Cartersville? Who was it? Uh, some no, it's somebody that we know. Not, no, like somebody that I know. N- nobody famous. No, I'm saying the who's driving the Rolls Royce. A guy I know. Oh, okay. 
I thought you were saying that they no, were no. pulled up on by somebody. No, one of my partners got pulled up on by one of his partners or somebody who I but somebody else don't know. Like we used to kick it back in high school. Like, bro, why why you got you live in Atlanta, you live in the city, you can you can be in your roles in the city, you're fine. Bro, you bring that shit to Cartersville. Bro, it might be one Rolls Royce in Cartersville that comes out once a quarter. Why are you driving that here? You're asking for trouble. Robert Kraft noticed. Robert Kraft showed up to a a, a a a shopping center with a Bills outlet, a Ross, a TJ Maxx, <laughs> and a massage parlor. They, what are you doing, bro? Even, but in Florida, a motherfucker really might not even recognize who who he is. Until 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 that sting operation hit. But anyways, back that's to the shop. That's a good start because you wouldn't think about it. If you were walking around, you were like, man, ain't no fucking way that this, this dude looks just like him. But it's like, ain't no way that's Robert Kraft. Nah, you just, you just gonna think he's just an old rich man. Just an old white guy getting a massage. Or well, get he just wants to get tugged on to. But the thing about the Deshaun the thing about the Deshaun piece again, and I I'm not comfortable speaking publicly about it. I, I think he does have a kink. I do, but whatever. I'm not, not whatever to dismiss what's wrong, but I, I just don't know I wasn't there. But my problem is the NFL's, uh, uh, was it personal conduct policy, where you can get suspended, fined for anything that you do that is damning to the shield. And... That goes beyond guilty until proven uh, innocent until proven guilty. Now, don't get me wrong. Private organizations can treat their their uh, employees however the hell they want. But the problem is the NFL does a collective bargaining agreement and players don't care about the CBA and they should care about the CBA. This is something that you should fight to get removed from the CBA because. Ray Rice got blackballed from the league for knocking out his his fiance who became his wife, who he's still married to. I don't support what he did, but if she can forgive him, why can't he still be employed to do what he's dedicated his life to doing? Deshaun Watson is involved in something where he's not getting, there, there's no legal charges happening. So he can't come to work because of an allegation that you're not going to be able to, if he doesn't, if he doesn't go to trial before the season, it's not going to happen until after the season. You can't prove you, you haven't had anything proven. America's supposed to be innocent want, proven guilty. The NFL doesn't want that outside noise. And I know plenty of dudes they because they already get outside noise for them dropping the ball previously on yeah. Like, Josh Brown, Ray about, Rice. Think about the yeah, the Ray Rice thing. What was he suspended? Two games, I think. Two games at first, <laughs> but they then already one, seen the video, bro. And they're like, all right, we'll give him two games. <laughs> and, and then when everybody Greg found Hardy, out the league saw the video, they gave him Greg six. Hardy got, Greg Hardy got six games. Um, they, I just feel like a lot of people think that they've dropped the ball. And now when you see a precedent set, like justice brought it up in the group, but Trevor Bauer is in the same position. Kind of, he had consensual sex with somebody, but basically I guess it was rough or something. And then the girl didn't, maybe they did anal. I have no idea. But regardless, he got and it wasn't rape or anything. No, it's after the fact, she, she she didn't like how the sex went, so she was like, "Well, you did stuff during sex. I agreed to sex, but I didn't agree to this type of sex." Right, and he get he's I mean he's appealing it, but two years, yo, like no pay, and I feel like that's another reason why they want to ding him for a year because even though he basically was just suspended a year, he was getting paid too, and I feel like that's a part of it. People always want to see where your money's going. People want people's pockets to hurt. But here's the thing. Something wrong. And, and Cleveland's catching heat, and people are thinking Cleveland's going to avoid the contract. They're not because they wrote it in a way that if he doesn't play next year, it's only a million dollars. He'll get he when he comes back. He'll get he'll get. Yeah, they they set it up so he they he set it up anticipating him not to play this year. Well, right. Well, and he already got a signing bonus. I have to imagine. Yeah, so I mean, no. my my issue is just the hypocrisy, because the NFL is gonna go, is gonna try to make people think that they care about these things, and they don't. And well, if anything, they want them out there because they're like, man, better product. Imagine, but think about Rogers, like, man, can you imagine all the hate eyeballs has them that we're gonna get on these people are gonna tune in just to hate, <laughs> like low key. People like gonna buy. Hey, people gonna buy Deshaun Watson jerseys just to just to ruin them. Yeah, burn them like do dumb shit. 
and and oh, wing costume. And think about it. We go. go we go the AFC North. We got Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and the Steelers. Oh my God! Headlines for days. Exactly. And then you got to look at it. Even I mean, I'm not saying just from a color standpoint, but I mean, come on, Ben. Basically, it's no basic. He did. That uh, nigga, he, yeah, that he, he raped somebody. Civil. So, yeah, he paid. He, he he paid that shit. And what did he get suspended? Four, six games. Four, six games. Yeah, that was pro- that was pre me too though. That's that matters. True. I mean, this was like yeah, this and this is before social media, which is how Deshaun right. got in contact with a lot and, of people that was doing the work for him. So there's like that, here, that uh, you know, that paper trail. With here's that. the thing that I guess just bothers me about the whole thing. It's just all about saving face and not actually standing on your morals, right? I was listening to uh, Charleston White earlier this week, and he was talking about the YSL, um, the YSL RICO case. And one of the things that Charleston talked about, he was like, hey, when you, hey, y'all saying all this stuff in your songs, you saying fuck the judge, all this stuff. Hey, when you, when you get to court, don't be crying and doing all that stuff. Now nah, stand on that shit you've been saying. Say, yeah, you ain't talking, you ain't doing this. Stand on what you believe in. And the one thing about Deshaun Watson is he's standing on, hey, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to fight all of this stuff out. Like, I'm not going to settle because settling is an admission of guilt. Right. And, you know, it's fun. It's not funny. It's it, it's interesting that we talk about this Deshaun Watson thing, uh, because I think both of us have an, uh, an, uh, a raised awareness of how sexual acts can affect women. You know, I, I think we grew up in an era where it's like, hey, you try you try to do what you want to do, but you're not necessarily considering how that affects the woman. And I right. think that was society for a long time. 